Hi you guys and welcome back to the Creme Kitchen. It is definitely sweater weather. Thanksgiving's right around the corner. I thought about a dessert and everybody loves pumpkin. Last year I did a pumpkin bump cake. But this year I thought I'd do a spin on my bread pudding recipe, which was really, really popular when I was doing in-home cooking classes. So I'd like to make a pumpkin bread pudding with a warm cinnamon and vanilla cream. Let's get started. I want you guys to go out and get yourself a nice squishy loaf of French bread. Nothing super crusty. We want the custard we're gonna make to kind of get soaked in pretty quickly. So I found this 20 ounce squishy, I call it squishy, French bread, and we're just gonna cube it up and put it in our large bowl. When I'm making bread pudding, I kind of like my cubes of bread to be all different kinds of shapes and sizes. I don't like it to be so uniform. Oh, Ava. If you don't want to cut your bread, you can just do this. Watch this. Just cube it up. Use your hands, as long as they're clean, right? This would be such a great replacement dessert for people who don't like pumpkin pie. There's a couple in our family that do not like pumpkin pie. I do have my oven on 375 degrees. 350 when you're using convection. There is my loaf of French bread. We're gonna set that aside and make the custard. I am going to have you separate three eggs because we just want the yolks. And then to that, five more eggs. The eggs are the foundation of our custard. Next, I like to use a combination of half and half and heavy cream. So two cups of half and half are going in now. Next, we're gonna add one cup of heavy cream. In my original croissant bread pudding, I have white sugar, but since this is nice and fall and it's pumpkin, one cup of dark brown sugar going in. About a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of vanilla. A teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, of course. And two teaspoons of cinnamon. It already smells like fall. Okay, got our spices in. Anytime I'm doing anything sweet, I like to add a little bit of salt. Gives it such a nice balance of flavor. Half of a teaspoon of kosher salt. This really is a fantastic and easy recipe. Last but not least, we gotta have our pumpkin. I have a, should be a 15 ounce can of 100% pumpkin, okay? Don't go get in the pumpkin pie filling because they do sell that in the can too and the recipe just would not come out quite the same. Ooh yeah. Okay, let me get a spatula. All right, we've got all of our ingredients in our bowl. I'm just gonna take my hand blender and blend it up nicely, get that sugar to dissolve, and then we're gonna pour it over our uh, bread cubes, and we're gonna let that sit for about 15 minutes. If you didn't have an immersion blender, you could certainly use a whisk. All we need to do is combine the custard with the bread, toss it, get everything evenly coated, and then we let it sit before we put it in our baking dish. We're gonna spray our baking dish. You can spray it or butter it, whichever you choose. We got enough cream in there, right? And then we'll pour our bread pudding cubes and custard right into our pan and pop it into our 375 degree oven. Mm -hmm. 
While our bread pudding is baking, we're gonna get our warm vanilla cinnamon cream ready to go. Cup and a half of heavy cream, one quarter teaspoon cinnamon, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And lastly, a tablespoon of packed dark brown sugar. We're gonna stir this up for a little bit, get all of those ingredients combined, and then we're gonna put it in a saucepan over low to medium low heat, and we're just gonna let it simmer and thicken. We're gonna let it simmer till you see the tiny little bubbles around the edge of your saucepan, and we're gonna keep it like that for about 15 to 20 minutes. Don't let it get to a boil. So our cream has simmered, and I've let it gently cool for a little bit on the cooktop, and it looks like our bread pudding is ready to come out. What you're looking for is that the inside, the middle, is not jiggly, it's just set. When you take it out, make sure you let it sit on the counter for a good, 15, 20 minutes. While it's out, it's still cooking. This looks and smells incredible, you guys. So I'm gonna let it rest, I'm gonna let it do its thing, and then I'm gonna show you how I serve it. In our house, there's no cutting involved. We're gonna serve this up family style. So just get a spoon and dig in. Now remember, our warm cream is not a whipped cream. We're just gonna drizzle a little bit over the top. All right, are we ready? That is so good. It is fall. It is yummy. The cinnamon, the pumpkin, all those spices. And I'm telling you what, that warm vanilla cinnamon cream ah, makes it. You guys, you have to make this for your holiday table. If you do, don't forget, send me a photo. Please like and subscribe, and I am wishing you a fabulous, wonderful, yummy, love-filled Thanksgiving. Bye.